Opie and Anthony. Uh, during the break, Sam brought to our attention. I love this song, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. Who doesn't? They did this one when I started. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, it takes you out of what you want yeah. to say, because Metallica is just that dun, damn dun, dun. good. Yeah. Um, for the faithful listeners, I think by now you know we have a severe cockroach problem in this facility. And we haven't talked about the cockroaches in a while, and they're they're just growing and growing, and it's just getting more and more out of control. But now we learned today from Sam that we have a major what problem? Mouse problem. Major mouse problem. Major mouse. Oh God! Problem. Hide your water. I <laughs> 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 fucking suck. Now we're gonna live that. They've been finding little teeny mouse straws <laughs> in all the fucking waters. Damn, that stupid joke swamped to me. <laughs> Excuse for a joke. And people are now seeing mice well, yeah, at started, this facility? It started because we were noticing mouse droppings in the office. You can't really notice hey, mouse droppings. It's mouse it's shit. Yeah, but they're called droppings. Well, I don't want to get all, you know, vulgar. Mouse shit. Exactly. It's hard to say mouse shit, though. Mouse shit. Mouse shit. 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 Mouse, mouse shit. shit. You actually have to say mouse shit, like Chairman Mao. Mouse, mouse shit. shit. <laughs> yes, mouse shit. It's mouse shit. Mouse shit. It's hard to say that, mouse shit. Droppings shits. don't make it sound as disgusting as it is. Yeah. There's mouse shit but how do you know around the food around every fucking how do you thing notice else it? because it's it, tiny it, little, they're tiny pellets. little you got an example because no shit. one stood no, around no, sucking no, the candy no. off of good and plenty and spitting it out on the floor what what danny no, they brought, it's like mouse shit <laughs> they brought over the regular ones but uh there should be like there's like black box electric like they don't it's not going to say well, a big bright electric mousetrap it's going to look like a two boxes of those, bro. Look. Around it. Yeah, we How much need, are they to buy? We need electric mouse traps because uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do some betting. How much are they to yeah. buy? Um, well, the ones, the, the electric ones that we got, uh, actually, a, a listener sent in. It's electric. I think they're about like I, I think they're about twenty dollars a piece. I love. I would love to give that guy credit because he saved my ass. I saved. Oh. I, I I killed f at least fifty with those electric traps. Yes. And we want to set the electric traps around here and and have a little bet. Check we'll have a little off. trap labeled Opie, Anthony, and Jimmy, <clears throat> and uh, let's do some betting today. But I'll tell friend. you something. Position is very important when it comes to mouse traps. Well, you have to figure that out on your own. My All friend. right. You take your trap, you bait it, it and, and you put it wherever the fuck you want. On Friday, when I was talking to Danny right outside the office, I just saw one go right behind him. And I was like, dude, there's, oh, shit. there's just a mouse behind you, and he felt it on his ankle. They give me the heebie-jeebies, mice. I, I'm not afraid of them. Like, I know they can't hurt me or they give me the Hunter virus, maybe, but uh, they just... <laughs> I don't like little scurrying things like that that can crawl up your pant leg. Yeah, that's, that's like, that is the biggest fear I have, is that I'm going to be sitting here, and some fucking mouse is going to crawl up my pant leg. I've been pulling out my socks all day. Bite a few inches off. Well, Jimmy taught me, when I first brought the mouse uh, problem I had to everyone's attention, Jimmy goes, if you saw one, that means you're infested. I'm like, shut the fuck up, no way. No fucking way, but yeah. sure enough, I you killed... think one mouse decided, what is this, Yeah, Fifle? Well, what happened? <laughs> they don't run away like Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> <He's lost. laughs> well, when you see one, that's 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 the one or two that are desperate for food, yeah. so they're taking their chances, which means that there's way more in the area. There's 15 people out here. If one mouse, if there's one mouse gutsy enough right. to come out in front of 15 people, so, then I saw one today scurry into the office, then I came out and the intern, one of the interns goes, yeah, I just saw one over there. And then Eastside Dave came in and said, yeah, there was one on my desk on Sunday. Probably the same one. No, uh. <laughs> That's what E-Rock said. He was like, I thought we just had the one. No. That, well, did E-Rock jump no. onto a chair and scream when the elephant ran through? When the elephant yeah. ran through. <laughs> the elephant ran through. <laughs> I'm, wow, we need big traps. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> E-Rock, you saw a mouse? Yeah, it was, uh, it was oh, sifting through your bags of granola. Oh, it yeah. loves that, grains. We had to throw out the granola. At a meeting? Uh, not, not now, but a while ago we saw um, the bag was uh, oh, chewed open. It was spilt all over the desk. Oh, they yeah. love their and little mouse greens. shit all over it. So they love they shitting where they it? eat. They stop it. Dumb mice. Yeah, they're always Stupid fucking coworkers. Pea brains. <laughs> you want to set these mouse traps and make it bloody, or you want to go electric? I would love to go electric. Let's go electric. Whatever is louder. No, you'll hear the zzzz, and they're done like that. Done. I like to go electric, the uh, electrocution, mouse traps. And and you see mouse droppings everywhere now that we're looking. Everywhere. For real? I'll show you right now. You'd have to leave the studio, and then nobody would be broadcasting. But I'll come see. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, where by the fridge? Well, there's no. Not where's the, the most? Where's the most mouse shit? You, you know where I saw a ton. 
on on Friday. Ton. Frank's Why place. Why was just at that mic? Oh, Frank's, Frank's Play place. Studio. Get the fuck out like, of here. near the board. Let me see. Are you kidding me? Where are they sitting? Why would they be there? Because somebody's sitting there eating and fucking making crumbs. And I've, I I refuse to. I used to do some work in that studio after the show. And yeah. I just, I won't anymore because, like, it's just too disgusting. Like, you put your hands down, like, to use the keyboard. And, like, your palms get, like, Ugh. get, like, like crumbs on them. And, like, you always have to brush your, your hands off. E-Rock yeah. watch. Shush. Wait. It's so are you it's shushing me? You're no, just you What are you, no crazy? Reason. It's adding to it. I was free. Freaking out! I know this is gonna make it worse. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is gonna make it worse. Iraq, what? <laughs> the, stuff the desk that. that's out in front of that yeah. studio yeah. is really bad. Ugh. The guy that has that desk hoards things. He no, hoards, he's a hoarder. He's a hoarder. He hoards um, open condiments. Well, you know why? Oh my God! Can you guys hear me? Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm looking at the Frank's place desk. It's a fucking. It, it's a cesspool. That's what it is. All this clutter. Oh God! What's in there? He doesn't throw out his tissues. Yeah! Oh, Christ. Why are we still dealing with nah. the Frank's place, like guys? I believe e rock shushed me. Yeah, that's pretty e rock why would you shush the boss? I wasn't yelling to, for you not to talk. I was yelling because I was excited. Oh. Yeah. This stuff I knew really you had stuff to in. say. <laughs> Do you see mouse droppings out there, Jimmy? <laughs> Jim, Jimmy just left some. Yeah, I left. I actually left a... That's called a mouse deterrent. No <laughs> mouse droppings, though? You get some of that? Yeah. Oh, good boy. Hey, hey, you know, um, you know no. where I've seen a lot actually. Uh, if you look by uh, behind the computer monitor in the office back there, behind the rightmost computer monitor, oh, I do, no. I do recall seeing droppings. Oh no! What? Oh yeah. Let me we, see. We abandoned that. Eastside Dave, a long you allowed on the ago. show? Come here. We're, you seen my? We're just talking about mice. It's okay. You're allowed to come in if we're talking about mice. We're not. Oh doing, my God! No, you're allowed. Um, you're allowed. We're not doing I'm, any. Enough with no not being stunts on our show. No wow. stunts. No nothing. We just want to know have your Pictures. testimony about mice. Rafael's new to three. Yesterday, uh, Holy shit. Um, at around three o five p.m., I'm typing on my keyboard and the mice. Not even in a rushed manner, like to hide, <laughs> just lollygagging, like, <laughs> oh my god, you know there's a, mice, a mouse problem now when the mice are not afraid at They're all. not afraid. Because there's, they're probably outnumber us about, I would say, 200 to 1. I bet in the yeah. ceilings it's I'm, like I'm alien. dead serious. The mice <laughs> was just like, love. dude, take out one of the ceiling tiles. I bet it's no. like alien. Oh, take one of the drop everywhere. ceiling tiles. Dude, the whole back of the fucking desk where these guys uh, uh, fucking uh, do impressions of workers. It's like <laughs> the fucking Ho Chi Minh Trail back dude. there. This, um, they must mice, mice must come in from other buildings to shit. That's like the fucking warm bathroom for the homeless mice. <laughs> How bad is it really? If we ever complain about going to Sirius again, I don't care if they have us broadcasting from inside a fucking Steve we'll Bladder's colon. Yeah, we'll I can't wait to get out of this fucking mousy, shitty building. And what's what is right on the other Show side me. of that wall that from the, the mouse highway? The, the outside of the outside fucking bathroom, right? No, bathroom. If you continue there. going that way, though. The bathroom is is over there, right? Oh yeah, kind of. But they'd have to get through a. There's a staircase first. I bet they fucking are able to squeeze through some pipes and shit like that. You ever see mice? They're crazy. What is this? I'm scared. This is scary mouse music. <laughs> no, it's it's from Alien. It's really, oh, right, oh, it's recognizable, isn't it? I would have played M I C K. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Play some Mickey Mouse, he rock, because that'll be like the whole thing. Opie right now is uh, checking out the uh, the trail of shit. Yes. The trail of mouse shit. When you look by the between the window, like uh, where the desk is, it's all fucking little oblong mouse doo doos. Mice take big shits, considering how small they are. That'd be like you ever see their balls? They're giant. Really? Mice have giant nuts. I want to suck mouse balls. Uh, is that gay? No, that mice. Suck a, mouse balls. Yeah, it's mouse. It's cool stuff. It's a, like a human. That's faggy. We're both saying it the wrong way. Like, is it cool if you suck a, a mouse balls? And you're like, yeah, it's mice. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Neither one of us knows what we're trying to say. <laughs> All we know is that they're thirsty little fellas. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you want to see that fucking desk? That I, fucking I, desk. I, I, I just put this here. Dude. It's okay. I, I get rid of it. Are we on the air? What's, yes, what's going on? Let me say. I don't know if this does it justice. See all those dots? That's just, that's just one area. I can okay, count my one, turn. two, three, four. He said it like Doc. I can count like two. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, turn. You just said I'm, some oil take, of flame. I'm gonna take like an overhead flyover view with the uh, with the uh, oh, that, flip cam. That's, that's right. Great idea. Flyover. Great commercial for the flip cam. Film mouse shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sending this to. In HD. Uh, I'm sending ah, in this. HD. I'm sending this to everyone I, that's following me on Twitter, OP Radio on Twitter. You can see the mouse droppings Let's behind see. the computer. Flat tires and oh, mouse shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
God. The, the wonders of the internet. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see some there. Some. Yeah. Eat one. Oh, my God. Oh, geez. Look right there. Oh, yeah. God. What? There's mouse shit everywhere. Dude, How amazing is that? He can't hear us. This thing. is horrible. Oh. It's it is amazing. I could hear you. Shut up, Jimmy. You oh. douche. Oh, I didn't know you had the uh, thing on. Ah, go fuck yourself. All right. I'm kidding, of course. I love you. <laughs> oh, I hope you step in mouth shit and get on <laughs> your shit. Can't help it. <laughs> you know it's all over the carpet and oh, everything. Yeah, Erock just casually said something into my ear. I don't think that was on the air. What was it? I love you. Say it for everybody. <laughs> I'm hungry. Don't. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What was that, Iraq? Don't uh, touch any of the green pebbles that are around, because that's all rat poison. Great, we have rat poisoning down, so don't touch the that, uh, what what he said. Rat poison. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck, yeah, look, they just, what used to be my desk, thank God it's not anymore, there's just a giant pile of rat poison. Oh, that's wonderful. Where Now, I want to see the uh, disgusting Frank's place. Look at the Frank's Place desk. I guarantee that's oh. Mouse Central. Yeah. Holy shit, what the fuck? Huh? You see the mouse droppings or just the uh, the desk? The Dude, his desk is a fucking disaster area. Somebody, Dan, are you filming that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I just sent a Look picture. Look at this coffee. Dude, there's a coffee cup that was used for coffee yeah. that is sitting here with coffee stains and a spoon next to it, and then there's just staples thrown in it, like he decided to store staples in a used coffee cup. What a pig! <laughs> You're a pig! God only knows what's back here. He is a slovenly, sloppy man, and that's making our work I don't environment work with a hoarder! There's four, there's four garbage pails here, two of which are uh, almost full, and two are turned over. Yeah. Danny's he, he got hoarder. good news? I do. What? Why? I have a connection in the pest control industry. <laughs> Wait, no, no we want to live among the mice. It, it makes for good radio. <laughs> See, you guys don't know good radio. <laughs> yeah. Let's sacrifice a little bit. As soon as we start talking about the mice, know what they did? They ran all the garbage out of here. What's wrong with you people? Throw it around oh. a little bit. <laughs> well, <laughs> roaches and mice. Hopefully by the end of the week, I will have uh, new, brand new electric mousetraps okay. for you guys so that you guys can no, go along. Them now. How much I are know, they? but I, I don't. How much are they? Probably like twenty bucks a piece. Oh, buy them! Oh, 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 oh dude, them. what do you find? Dude, this is disgusting. What do you find? Uh, I, there are pizza boxes here that look like they've been here for a while. Yeah. I bet there's a mouse inside one of these fuckers. Oh. O open up this this bottom oh, one. No, you're crazy. No, the bottom one. Yeah. Crack that fucker open, please. Oh God damn! What's in it? It's paper towels. And a few slices of pizza, and the box is soaked in grease, and it's just sitting on the fucking floor. Well, who? who I'd like to know who left fucking disgusting pizza. Who fucking is doing this? Place is fucking disgusting. Because I know I was here on Saturday, and there was no disgusting pizza oh, boxes. Oh. Now what about over by the uh, refrigerator? Dude, let's try to find a mouse right now. Where do you think they're hiding? They just come out. Just wait. Take one of the tiles down from the ceiling. I don't want <laughs> Did Sam tell you one ran across my foot on Friday? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's about it. We should just buy the mouse traps. We should get them. I know. We got to do the mouse bit today. Twenty bucks a piece. We today. should not wait a week. We're crazy. You what? A mouse? Uh, oh really? They just saw a mouse running? No, they're lying. Yeah, yeah there appears to have been a mouse that just scurried. No, it's oh, we had a scurry. Oh. They're lying to be fucking cool. No, oh, no, 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 there, no. there was. Right, fuck this. Where are you at? Let's shake the office there was so we a, get him out. There was a mouse. <laughs> yeah, start kicking shit. <laughs> Let's start just kicking shit until a mouse fucking what runs out. to the radio oh, show? No. <laughs> Danny, we're the only ones left in here. This has been my, this is my yeah, dream. Yeah, they, they kind of fucking... Where's the mice? Turn off the wireless. I know, then we could have our own Yeah, show. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Mice. First person to get a mouse to appear gets 20 bucks. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Right See you later, Danny. <laughs> I don't need it. Yeah, they're bad. probably underneath there, behind one of those things. Behind that. Oh, there's some poison. Yeah, they, they hear the poison. Yeah, there's fucking mice. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> they're banging the fucking walls trying to get mice out. <laughs> this is hysterical. Dude, look at the pizza boxes. Look at those. Look inside those pizza boxes, Jimmy. It's, look at it. Look at it. It's fucking disgusting. Oh, it stinks too. Jeez. Oh, Jimmy fucking just got scared. I got scared. <laughs> Jimmy got scared that a mouse was going to get him. 
Who's with me? Let's oh, burn the God. place down! Yeah. Let's burn yeah, the Jimmy. place! Jimmy fucking... Oh, God. Oh, you're horrible. <laughs> oh, that stinks. Oh. Dude, there's mouse droppings They're so in this studio. There's mouse droppings everywhere in this studio. Yeah. Anyone? Oh, God, Jimmy. Wow. I got to evacuate the area. Wow. Jimmy, Jesus Jimmy, Christ. Jimmy stunk that up so fucking bad back there. All right. Sam. Dude, the entire area stinks so bad. No. They're not coming out now. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. I thought I saw a mouse and I was frightened. Hey. Sam. Yeah. Oh. They uh, thought it was rotting food that they wouldn't <laughs> even eat. Listen, listen. Uh, until we get off the air in about 10 or 15 minutes, if they could get a mouse to, minutes. If they could get a mouse to appear... Twenty dollars. Yep, and a kiss. Twenty dollars. Oh, man, this is like really keep us <laughs> keep us updated. Did you get that fart? No, you got scared. <laughs> I was frightened. I thought mice were coming to hurt me, <laughs> so my body sends out a defense when I'm frightened. <laughs> yes, you like a skunk. <laughs> I can't believe how big an area. That fucking fart stunk <laughs> up. Horrendous. It was the entire back of the building. It's like napalm. <laughs> <laughs> Horrendous. <laughs> Snake and nay. Ooh. Oof. Wow, there's mouse droppings all over the place, man. Yeah. All over the place. <laughs> wow, that was bad. All right. Well, we don't have the electric traps. I was going to bet you who could catch a, a mouse first. Yeah. yeah. We'll have it tomorrow. We buy them. Yes, we do. Mm hmm. Let's get some. We uh, don't have it in the budget. Yes. I'm too busy buying f fat girl white sweatshirts. <laughs> the fuck is that sweatshirt? is horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. This place is fucking infested. It's disgusting. It's Except really our studio is clean. Who knows, though? Nah, because it's, there's nothing in, in there. Do you, do you know that those little hatches lift up and it's hollow all inside the perimeter yeah. of this? They could be using that as a. Little transportation route. Let's, let's make Sam crawl through there right now. <laughs> His hair would crawl. Sam, would you crawl through the crawl space for the show? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> we'll never complain about moving to that fucking new building again, though. Ugh. There's no mice on the 40th no. floor. You know that mice. Just giant rats. <laughs> you know that mice and rats are responsible for most of the fires that happen. Chewing through the wires. Yeah. No, they're just Danny, mischievous. Update. A mouse? Uh, well, I, I looked out the, outside the studio and I see our interns and they're they're pounding on ceiling tiles and uh, I got a I got a call from my 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 buddy <laughs> and he said do not disturb the ceiling tiles you do not want to disturb the droppings because you could risk uh, spreading any kind of disease the hunter virus <laughs> exactly that uh, that that mice could be it's called the plague yeah well there's you know, if someone's so, gonna have a problem. There's so many mouse droppings, you can't even count them all. See, if it dries I, up and then turns to a dusty, powdery form, and you inhale it, you can get um, many types of diseases, including the bubonic plague. What is yes. that about? It, you know, the ancient fucking disease what from the is that about the times when they lived in castles. Can we cure that now? Yeah. Really? But it's just still not fun to get, and it's kind of got a stigma to it. Hi, how are you? I have black death. Yeah. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm on AshleyMadison.com. <laughs> I'm Jim, and I'm frightened. I have the black death. I have the bubonic a... plague. Yes. Yeah. Uh, see, that could kind of you know cut into dating, things there's like a, that. There's a red ring festering on my stomach. Can I have a kiss? <laughs> Looks like a giant hickey given to me by nature. <laughs> nature has given me a hickey. <laughs> I ate mouse duty on a bed. How much? 13 pounds of mouse duty. <laughs> I ate it out of a satchel. Oh. Scoopfuls of mouse duty. The Those girls, that, little the girls that came to watch the show, very frightened. They're, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, yeah, they're their picked, feet are in the air. They're like, fuck, what the hell did we get ourselves picked into? Picked a good day. Where are you ladies from? Yeah, originally New Jersey, but now they live in California. California. Oh, where's California. Your, where's your and, gentleman? And she's freaking out at the microphone. Yeah. It's a microphone, miss, not a cock. We don't have gentlemen. Really? You both just single? Uh huh. Ooh, two I single don't really bitches. Want to talk into the microphone. Why don't you want to talk into the microphone? We've done enough talking. You talk for a yeah. while. <laughs> the fuck you want from us? So, what brings you uh, to uh, Manhattan? We went to see the Will Ferrell show. How was it? Oh. It was hilarious. Was it? That shit's hilarious, yeah? The Bush thing was good it that was he's really doing? Good. He's only doing it for, what, another week or so, right? Yeah. That's another good. Another six weeks. Six weeks? Oh. Okay. 
So then you decided to uh, drop by here because you're fans of your show. All oh, right. Oh, wow. Really? That's what we want to say. Which one's Ron and which one's Boston. Fez? Oh, really? Nothing. I download <laughs> you on Audible because you don't play in California. Well, we're on satellite. 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 Yeah, but I don't want to pay for that. So oh, what a oh. chisler. Oh, that's all right. You'll fly across sure country to see Love hearing plane. that over there. I'm, I'm, sure pay say, for Audible. I'm sure yeah, Mel is enjoying right. that one. It's cheaper just to get yeah, I think it's cheaper show. to just get a monthly thing than Audible. Yeah. But then I go into the whole show because I'm at work when you guys are on. No one cares. But then we got replay, like later in the day when you're I off. Have the radio. And you have the radio. All right, it does Sam. sound like a hassle. Yeah. Any mice? No. I'd rather pay $3 a show. You sound like an infomercial for anything. Yes, it's a hassle turning on and off the radio. <laughs> we scared the mice. What though. a problem. Old-fashioned radios had to be turned on and off. Do you How hate, did they do it? Do you hate receiving broadcasts? <laughs> it's so cumbersome. Sure, don't we all? <laughs> All right. Uh, well, that was exciting. We got to get the electric trap so we can do our little. Uh, they are, they are, our little trial. Before we get off the air. No. no. Oh, they're, on, they're on back order. It's not like we we can't just like go to Dwayne Reed and get them. They, oh, yes. no, no, no. Back order. It's like, it's like professional shit. They were on the yeah. shelf in the other joint. I know. I, I don't know time. why. I don't know why. Maybe they got thrown away. I don't know why these guys can't find them. Boo, mice took them away. Boo. Boo. All right. We got a monster that was born in California. But first, because we're trying to get the bit developed here, it's Black History Month. This is the one we start with today. Today. To celebrate Black History Month, The Opie and Anthony Show is recognizing those historic African Americans without whom this country would not be the melting pot it is today. Today we honor Bob Price, the Georgia native who became the eighth black baseball player ever to grace the major leagues. Bryce played a monumental 27 games in the major leagues and died at the ripe old age of 62 in West Virginia. Stay tuned for more icons of black history on the Opie and Anthony Show. You know what? Uh, we're back live. The interns are now just looking desperate. Yeah, what are you in a punching wall? Why don't you hit the yeah, window? They just want Maybe that they're hiding in the window. So bad. Their idea is if they hit the wall on this side, then the mice will come running out from the other side. All right, yeah, that's a good theory. Philosophy. It's a right? shit theory. I mean, theory or whatever. Yeah, sure. Have you Dummies. seen the vacant lot that's next door? Because that could easily... That place is full of rats. Like, I know every place in New York City is full. But, like, when you're walking to CBS yeah. from here in the morning at, like, 4.30... Like, you don't hear really? them, you see them. I've never seen them. Running what? across the street. Really? Like, uh, like 4.30 Holy in the morning. Shit. That rules. Like, we, Fuck. We I love seeing rats. We were walking, and oh, one whoa. of the interns goes, man, you have a lot of rats here. And I was like, oh, yeah. And I thought I saw some leaves blow across the sidewalk. It was like 15 rats scurrying from underneath a car into that lot that's right next Fuck. to it. Sam, and, tell, me, tell me the story about the uh, what the garbage men do. Yeah, and then we started realizing after that, there were all these dead rats like every other morning outside the building, like with their head smashed in. <laughs> so I found out from one of the guys here that the garbage men that come, yeah. the place, the other place next door, the deli or whatever, yeah, they always have their garbage out, and there's always rats under their garbage. So what the garbage men do is one of them gets ready to pick up the garbage bag, and the other one just has a lead pipe. <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs> so they see how quick they can pick the garbage up and just smash them. <laughs> That is Why? the coolest game ever. Just because, like, a, we got here one morning, they got three of them before they could scurry off. Can you fucking get video of this? What a great game. Yeah. That is really cool. They do cool. it every morning? As far as I know, I get can... video. Right. Man. We used to, uh, on the job sites, the electricians were always a lot of fun uh, whenever there was uh, rodent problems. They would take um, uh, and hook up to the, uh, the um, 220 service mm -hmm. in the basement. And uh, run a line down to two metal plates, um, and then they would put the plates very close together, but not touching, and put food in between. Jesus! So when the ma mouse stepped on both of the plates, it got uh, wow. well, two hundred and twenty volts. That's, that's, right that's like a, a souped-up version of those electronic, uh, the electric <laughs> oh, mouse yeah. traps. It's the but, same thing. <laughs> but they would explode. <laughs> well, yeah, they would right. fucking it literally explode from uh, short circuiting uh, two twenty. How about if it stood on one plate only? It was fine. Well, that's so weird, right? What yeah. Is it, the, 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 it's getting fed something from both plates? Yeah, it needs uh, a ground. You need, like, a, a positive and a negative. Wow. So they would, you know, run 220 to one plate, run the ground to the other, and then wham. Would that have killed a person? 
Um, yeah, they'll electrocute you. 220? 220 is what, yeah, like the service that comes in your main that's, brake. Yeah, that's standard household open, care. Open up your breaker box downstairs and see the big wires coming in? Grab them, all of them. Go ahead. How much I'll is wait. Two, how much is two twenty? Like I, I don't understand. It's two hundred and twenty volts. It's well, a little worse than putting your finger in, a, in like a plug in your house. No, in your house, then it's stepped down to um a hundred and ten volts. They they have it, um once it goes uh, into your house. What is like uh, like you know the electrical power lines that fall down when like when they zap somebody in the yes. water a puddle or something? How many volts a are those? A billion trillion. That's a lot. Yes. Wait, it all depends. Volts? It all depends on which where where they are, where they come from. Like what's coming into your house off before the transformer, I think is upwards of a couple of thousand, uh, and then it hits that big fucking garbage pail looking yes. thing on your on your telephone poles, and gets stepped down there. And but uh, yeah, two twenty will do some major damage to you. Believe me. What's the uh, what's the uh, electric chair? What is that? Oh place? man, I don't know. It's gotta be a lot though. Mm. I don't know. That's all amperage, anyway. Yeah. That's the fucking shit that nails you. Volts, like like a stun gun, is 10,000 volts on a stun gun, but it doesn't kill you because the amperage is very low. What is an amperage? Amperage is uh, amps. It's amp. It's like amplification almost. It's it's how how much uh, current is actually um, flowing through you. What is a volt? <laughs> Let's say. <laughs> that I there's. <laughs> let's say you have a. Um, yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to put this in terms. See, you might most understand. people don't know. And okay, go to Ant is wrong about electricity because that'll work. Why? Because then he'll be able to teach me. To I'm a tin knocker. When we're not on the show. Oh, people like this. It's science. All right. Ryan and Kansas. Ryan, that. enlighten but us, Anthony, please. Anthony, you're, you're incorrect just a little bit, sir. Okay, go ahead. Your 220 coming into your house is uh, two legs of 120 each and then a neutral leg. Oh, right. That's what I said. It was two. Okay, I'm sorry. I said 220, but I did you say this. You said that plate, they hook up uh, 220 to one plate and then ground to the other one. Yeah, they hooked up both. It, uh, would, it, would make a, it would make a big boom if they took both of those live legs and put them to the same place. You'd have a really big boom. Even without a ground touching it? Without a ground touching it. Why two is that? Wires, two live wires touch, and they're going to go boom, because they're, they're, uh, they're different phases. Each one's a different phase. Oh. Thank you, you Mr. Electrician. Okay. But how can you could have a little bit of volts Ooh. with high amperage, and it fucks you up, but a lot of volts with low amperage, and it doesn't? Mm, that's how much of that voltage is flowing through you, I guess. Oh, I don't know how mm. it works. I mm. just don't, I don't want to get zapped. No, no one ever does. <laughs> No, that would not be good. <laughs> you want a rat update? You want a point? Or a mouse what? Update? Oh, mouse update! Yes. Well, they're tearing apart. I'm having the interns tear apart a certain person's workspace. Oh. And, uh, oh we haven't actually yeah. found a mouse, but we found two things of interest. One was like a giant cardboard box with a whole bunch of paper plates and stuff in it, full of mouse shit. There was probably food in there at some yes. point, and they they and just ate it and shit there. How much mouse shit? A lot, they said. And then I want metric. I want to wait. Mm. Okay, we'll get pour milk on it. And eat it like cereal. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Cocoa Krispies. Yeah, yeah, it'll turn the milk black. Bubonic Krispies. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, how awful! Then, they tore apart the corner. Of yeah, it and brought and they found in the corner not a mouse but a nest. Holy like shit! Made with like torn up paper and stuff. Yeah, like because they have gestation period of about. An hour, yeah. and then they have a litter of a thousand. <laughs> there was a nest in his area? Yeah. Like, uh, wait, who's the, area? I'm back with the show. You know, the guy. Fuck, fucko over there in the corner. We tore apart his area. Where's the nest? It's in the corner. I want to go see the nest. Did he get a picture of it? Yeah. What's that? He has shoes. Why are you putting this by me? Get away from me. Shoes. <laughs> He's got shoes. His what shoes. about his glasses? No glasses. Oh, He's they're tearing the ass out of me. That's the most normal thing he has. He's I got know. shoes. He, came in like, <laughs> he has shoes. Get the fuck out of here with that. We're talking about rotting food, mice, fucking all kinds of shit. And he goes, they got, he's got shoes back here. I found the smoking gun. What is it? It's a hat. <laughs> Dude, so you got you found a, a fucking nest? Yeah, I'll go get a picture of it. Wow. Get a picture of it. That man. is disgusting. And what, what else did I miss? Abomination. And, and, and a box filled with mouse shit in it? Yeah, yeah. A whole big box where there was paper plates. Apparently, uh, the m mice ate what was on the plates and then shit it out. Ugh. <coughs> All right, tomorrow, oh, we, drink water. tomorrow we start catching the mice. Mm.
Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for Jimmy I say, to come back. Since we're leaving this building. I say we feed the shit out of them. Fuck yeah. Until they infest this fucking building. Yeah, until they. See, well, there's, there's this, another school of thought here. We're leaving. So let's fucking get We're this place infested. so infested yeah. that Once they are day. crawling around like like the movie Ben. Dude. He, what did you, you say? He has a pen! I'm just in the same zone. <laughs> and fucking dumbbell right in there. Guys! Shoes! A computer keyboard! Yeah. What'd you say? A Nothing. Nest? No, they said it was shredded paper. I couldn't see it. And apparently Steve banged his head trying to look at it. <laughs> so that very happy. That must have been funny. Wouldn't it be all of a sudden if he walked out and just started, like, really desiring pussy? I don't know what that <laughs> smack to the head did, but it straightened me out. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. They ruined the nest. Oh, Why would they ruin the Why? nest? It's destructive. But these guys don't know how to do radio Who ruined yet? it? I don't know, some of the answers. Well, they said Twitter. It, they said don't know how to Twitter. <laughs> oh, they didn't fucking get a picture of it? No, they said a bunch of papers fell on it, and now it's just some scraps. A bunch of papers <laughs> fell on it? Stop I know. it. How about just take a picture of the one on Sam's head? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, that's Sam, a good Sam, one. Because you, yeah. How's also, your head, Steve? Steve, what happened? How'd you if bang your head? Oh, I bashed my fucking nose. <laughs> Is it weird not banging the back of the head on the steering wheel? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Joe. You know, if we oh, shaved Sam's head one. and threw that hair around, that would make some good uh, material yeah. for a nest. They would all just be nesting in it like this is the, this would yeah. be like a five star hotel, like the yeah. same fucking Regis. Yeah, is your hair for mice? That would rule, man. No, wouldn't that would rule. Soft what? bed. They'd be all kicking back with their oh, feet up. Mice just fucking and having more mice <laughs> yeah. on just, your hair. Just mouse droppings in your hair. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'd love to throw a mouse in his hair and watch it just claw his head. Oh, get all <laughs> stuck in there where you couldn't even pull it out. It's like gum just stuck in your hair. Take what a, would you do? Take a scared mouse shit in your ear. Oh, and then, like, yellow mouse piss comes oh. running down your forehead into your eye. Nice. And gives you fucking pink eye malaria fucking... AIDS. 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 <laughs> Dysentery. <laughs> mouse doo-doo bubonic. Oh, cold. <laughs> well, easy. The touch of the flu. The sniffles. And a hangnail. <laughs> yes. Rickets. <laughs> gives you the shingles. But there does appear to be, like, a whole area in the wall where they said the nest was uh, like a hole like like chewed a hole in the wall no there's like a space no there's a hole big enough for a mouse to crawl into that i think is there or a organic. fat cock right there, yeah sure. nice dude this whole place has to be like destroyed the yeah, bathroom stinks no so bad every day and it's not a smell of a someone taking a shit in the bathroom we've talked about this before they're in the fucking walls they're everywhere shitting pissing and rotting bodies are in that fucking bathroom. That's why it smells like a goddamn eat each other. monkey cage. We're gonna get him though. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Keep Watch it just be that. one mouse that shits constantly, <laughs> <laughs> like an Iraq mouse. Yeah, this one just nervous eating, mouse, big fat mouse. <laughs> yeah, he's a big dumb mouse with a fucking ill-fitting shirt. And he just <laughs> fucking <laughs> eats his hat. shits. Like like uh, uh, Stephen King's graveyard shift. <laughs> yeah. If you're, if yes. You that. <laughs> the big fucking giant rat. Wasn't that a, like a folding machine or something? Oh, I just I'm not having I'm not having good references. <laughs> that was a good one. No, I, 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 it what a short story by Stephen King in 1982. Oh, no. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's like chapter five of the Bachman books. But they made a movie out of it, <laughs> James. <laughs> fucking Bachman reference. That's even better. I gotta piss desperately. Yeah, let's get the fuck uh, yeah, out of here. We're out of here. Howdy. Later. Later. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you later. Mm. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Ah, good morning. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. We got to get right into this. Hello. For the people that weren't listening later, later on, I guess, yesterday. Yeah. We discovered that we have a severe, not a little, a severe mouse problem in our other studio. Yeah, not the one we're in right now. No. This place has its own problems. Yeah. I thought this was the place with the problems, but we're learning that uh, our other studio has cockroaches. We did the whole cockroach bit over there. Yeah. We set cockroach traps, and we, we what? Like cockroach motels, yeah. We caught hundreds of them, most yeah. of the tiny little baby variety, uh -huh. but a bunch of uh, the, the big mamas, too. Oh, huge. That ones. really creep people out. Disgusting. And then yesterday, we're broadcasting, and it was brought to our attention, and I guess we're the last to know. That there are mice all over the joint. Yeah. To, to the point where the interns and, and the behind-the-scenes guys... Um, wait, how am I going to get my uh, peanut butter in here now, though? Oh. All right, anyway. Um, 
they all see the, the the mice running during the day. All of a sudden, they're doing work. One runs uh, across the counter. One 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 bumped into Danny That's as he was just doing his uh, job. Yeah, it ran it ran right across my like I felt something hit my foot. Uh. And I just brushed it off like, oh, it was probably like my my uh, cuff of my jeans or something. And then yeah. he goes, did you feel that? I'm like, what? He goes, a mouse just ran across your food. I'm like, I knew I felt something. Yeah. That's sick. And there's uh, there's uh, droppings. Mouse droppings, droppings. everywhere. Everywhere. I, I, I thought they were exaggerating. They're like, you got to see this. So we all took turns looking at this. And it, it, it looked like it was raining mouse droppings. There's a big long, in our uh, office we used to use, <laughs> there's a big long uh shelf desk area with a bunch of computers on it yeah that uh the staff would use behind the monitors where like you know no man's land where you empty K dvd cases and stuff get thrown and there's a lot of wires and stuff like that yeah is the ho chi minh trail <laughs> of mice it is where they are coming in and out to do their damage it's loaded packed with uh mouse crap yeah and um it, it stinks you could smell it. Uh, they uh, have laid waste to that. And the people that work there are disgusting slobs. They're animals. There's they're, one guy, he's an animal, and it needs to be yeah. said. I don't give a crap if we're going to get in trouble with HR. The guy's a hoarder. Puffin stuff. Oh. It's, uh, <laughs> the guy's a hoarder, and, and because of that, it, it, it's made the uh, mouse problem a, uh, a lot worse. Yesterday, I saw two pizza boxes. And this wasn't like, hey, we just finished some pizza. Yeah. Uh, you know, when when someone leaves, take the boxes with you, and we'll leave them here for the time being. This was pizza that was like celebrating the Apollo Soyuz mission. <laughs> it, it, it was the box was encrusted in grease from the pizza, and there was a slice in there, or a mummified version of a slice that had like some paper towels over it. And I opened it up with my foot to look inside, and there were just mouse droppings and, and the stench of, of a rodent. Mm -hmm. People that are in there, and one in particular, is a disgusting human being that is, is just infesting that place with rodents. Yeah, once again, he's an animal. Yeah. And, and we found a nest near his work area. Yeah. And, you know. Shredded paper. Nice little nest where, where a mouse gave birth like they do every uh, week. Yeah. To a 6,000 young. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, with that said, we all have an electric trap in front of us. Yes, we uh, found our electric traps. These are mouse traps that are quite futuristic and quite exciting. Well, but they are. They're um, little plastic boxes. I would say it's about six inches uh, long by about uh, three inches wide, uh, about an inch and a half high, and um, there's metal plates inside, mm -hmm. and each plate is getting a positive and a negative. Uh, there's, I'm sure, some kind of a booster thing like a stun gun would have, so you put a little 9-volt battery in there, and it increases the, um, the uh, amperage, and you put a little peanut butter, a little dabble do you, in the back of the trap. And the mouse crawls in the hole in the front, works his way through a slight little maze so he can't back out. And in order to get to the delicious peanut butter, he must stand on two of the metal plates, which he then um, becomes uh, like the Rosenbergs back in the uh, 50s, oh giving away our hydrogen bomb secrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zappo! <laughs> uh, it's a fun trap. No, no smacks, no uh, sticky paper. You just electrocute him. And then uh, dump them out. This um, this was the trap I used in my old apartment. That, wonderful. That uh, I think this is the actual trap, by the way. I, I do believe I brought it back. Yeah. This particular trap I'm holding has over 50 kills. Wow. Old this, Sparky. This thing <laughs> rules as far as getting rid of uh, your your mice problem. Yeah. So without further ado, I uh, had you. We take a little peanut butter. You scoop it on the back wall. You told them about the maze feature, right? Ed? Yeah, there's a little, slight little maze feature. It's a couple of angled pieces of plastic so the mouse can't back out. No. Once he's in, he's committed. He's in for the long haul to the old death chamber. The little mouse, like, I think there's a point where he goes, uh-oh. Uh-oh, <laughs> this doesn't look good, but that peanut butter smells <laughs> delicious. And at that point, you can... He can't back out. Nope. And his fate is sealed. It certainly is. Who want Jimmy, you gonna set your your trap or what?
I need a I need a spoon. Yeah, here, give uh, Jimmy a spoon. Wait, I, I think I need a little, another dab. I'm going all in here. And then what we have to do, you got to pick a guy at. What are we doing, $100? $100. Our bets are usually $100 a man. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, then you pick a guy, or we can pick one guy. And that person has to place the traps in the other joint because we can't leave here right now. Yeah. Um, I, I, because I was clamoring that I want a good spot. Yeah. That's, uh, it's all about placement. It's like fishing. Of course it you know, is. You got to find the good spot. So, um, I found, I think, um, where I want to put mine. Uh, huh? Yeah. Write, down write it down. Yeah. Write it down. I, I need mine, uh, I, I need mine somewhere near that that slobs area. Uh, okay. That's that's a good spot, but um, yeah. where are you going? Pick a different spot. I'm gonna go. You know the uh, desk with the uh, computers on it, mm -hmm. and where behind the wires, uh, uh, there's all that. I'm, I'm not up there, mind you. Underneath, because they're on the floor too. I know it. Underneath, against the wall. It's got to be against the wall though. Near the door or near, on the other side? Uh, like under the middle. Of okay. the of the desk, okay, the area, but pushed against the wall with the hole, um, facing toward my old desk, okay, so that when they run by, they run in the hole. That's what you got to do. You got to wrangle them. Jimmy, where you want yours? No, I'm thinking maybe um in, at a desk with a phone next to it. <laughs> no, nothing hurt. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of where you awake yet. Look at yeah, I'm just watery eyes. What's you're not even awake yet. I'm awake. It's my afrin. No, my my uh, nose is decongesting off afrin. That's right. why I'm miserable right now. You uh, look like a Saint Bernard. Your <laughs> eyes are just tearing. Yeah, it's because my nose. They're very Are you watery. sad, Jimmy? No, no, no. Oh, it's, good. When your afrin wears off, it's, you know, it tangles. It's hard to breathe. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm thinking that well, you know where but if you walk out of the office that we never use at XM, mm -hmm. where the animal's desk is. Mm -hmm. But the other side, like under all those cabinets, mm. yeah. Um, no one is going for the obvious near the kitchen and stuff. I thought of that too. Uh, you know what? Screw it. You could have the you could you could choose anywhere near the animal's desk, and uh, put me near the kitchen in a good spot, Sam. Okay. Yeah, put me near the animal's desk. Okay. Uh, where where do I put this peanut butter? Right on the back wall. Where the holes are. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That way they can. And how do you turn? You oh. turn it on like this, right? I forgot. It's yeah. been a while. Thank God. I, and it it, it blinks to show it's on. Yeah. All right, mine's set. Here, take it over to the other okay. joint. Could someone just load mine up? Yeah, just, just smear some peanut butter over there. Yeah, I'll, do, and I'll, get do your, uh, I'll do yours. Get your little gloves. There you go. Get your oven. All right. <laughs> As we set the uh, electric mouse traps, okay. we're, uh, we're 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 placing our bets. See <laughs> see who could see who could uh, catch a mouse first. Our names are on top of the electric traps. What does Jimmy write? I know that I just gave it. I, I I did I did mine. I did Anthony's. No, you. <laughs> What did you do? He gave you a tiny little dab. I need more. <laughs> Jimmy has like a massive I glob. need more. <laughs> that good? Yeah. All oh, right. That's good? Like I did? Yeah, that's cool, oh, yeah. Oh, oh there's yeah. going to be some lucky mouses. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> God, this smells good, right? Peter? That's and, good. and no one's over there right now, right? The little holes Mars. in the back. It's just Mars, it's nice and pretty much nice and dark and nice and quiet. That means the, the mice are rocking yeah. and are rolling right now. All right, cool. To grab Jimmy's and let's uh, let's get the uh, show on the road. So the electric traps are set. A little peanut butter on the back wall. Our names are on top of the traps. Sam will place them uh, fairly in the areas we have chosen, and we'll be checking what every half hour. Yeah, sure. Have Mars check every half hour and give us a call. Yeah. And uh, then let us know. And 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 when the trap starts blinking, that means you got one. So Mars doesn't even have to open up the thing. It just blinks to show you that you got some goodness inside. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's say hi to John in Denver. John? Hi, oh, oh, hi Anthony. Yeah. I was thinking that Jim Nord would want a little cup of water inside of his trap for the mice that are thirsty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, to... you bastards. <laughs> I didn't think of that. It's Enough funny. about the mice. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> oh, a little callback yes. for everybody. It's the old uh, white shorts joke. Mm -hmm. come, come haunting me again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> funny. It yeah. just has like a little five alive. <laughs> just a little <laughs> beverage for the fella. <laughs> yes. They might have a burning mouth. Yeah. From all those chicken wings. Yeah, Iraq will have wings in it. <laughs> the garlic butter saw. Yeah. I was saying. We should put that in the trap. They're they're almost ready to bring the traps over to the other joint. Me and Anthony, good news. The traps are set. 
you're just tuning in, we got a, a severe mice problem at our other studio and where the, the guys work. And uh, we decided to set electric traps with our names on each trap. And we're doing a little betting today. We're trying to find out who could uh, catch uh, a mouse first. Who's trap uh, electric kits a mouse first? Yeah, yeah, there's a mouse problem over there. Sam, you set the traps over there, right? In some good locations? Yeah, they're all set where you wanted them, and all the locations have been isolated, so they won't be disturbed. Oh, nice. Ah. Well, there's not a lot of people over there right now, right? Right, there's only a few people, but the office is all set off, and, and the animal's desk has been completely blocked off from people. I hope that disgusting guy is found electrocuted with peanut butter <laughs> on his finger. <laughs> trying to, like, get some for a sandwich or something. He's a hoarder. Slob. He's a hoarder, you think? Absolutely. Yeah. Did you see the corner that he's in? It's it's a wreck. It's everything. I saw yesterday that used coffee cup, a paper coffee cup used, had, like, gunky coffee on it. It was spilled on the desk. Mm -hmm. And he seemed to have just take a hand, taken a handful of staples and thumbtacks and used that as, like, a little storage place for his staples and thumbtacks without rinsing it out or anything. Dude. Just a used coffee cup. You know he's so paranoid about somebody taking his chair that he chains it to his desk. He he chains. Oh yeah. Get a bolt cutter. He, get a bolt <laughs> yeah, cutter. Yeah, That chair okay. is going. He's a he's a nobody in this business. For, throw his chair out on the street. Do you have some of that ass spray? Yeah. Spray that chair. Spray the chair. Done. I say just throw it on the street. Bolt let, let, let one of oh. the homeless guys grab it. You know what? Let our star to hang around the leave building. Leave it right in front of the building. So when he walks in, he'll be like, I think that's my chair, but it can't be because it's chained to my desk. It can't be because no one With would actually... chain on the seat. Yeah, no one would actually put it outside. Oh. Yeah. Yes, Iraq. We, we've tried. He used to chain it to this uh, filing cabinet that rolls. So we used to take the filing cabinet and the chair and put it like out in the hallway near the freight elevator or something. <laughs> so we started chaining up the uh, filing cabinet to the actual desk itself. Yeah. He locks up paper goods supplies, coffee stir. It's like stuff that you don't have to worry about people stealing. Coffee stir, except him. Yeah. This guy refuses to leave our facility. Refuses. He's the only one left from uh, the old days. The old guard. Can we take his chair down with, in the freight elevator and chain it up to, like, the muni meter outside <laughs> yeah. the building? That's a good idea. Because we'll have to like... see it coming into the building. Yeah, like a delivery guy's bicycle. Yeah, we'll, get a, we'll get a new lock so he can't even uh, use his key. <laughs> That's great. Just chain it outside. He, well, do you think the guy that he file trades online with, that janitor, uh, that <laughs> Mr. Whipple-looking pedo over at XM, will help him? <laughs> File trading. Uh, yeah, a couple of creeps. Yeah, oh, they yeah. are. Uh, is Mars gonna be checking the electric traps every half hour or so? Yeah, he's gonna be calling in every half hour. All right. And we have a little surprise uh, once we get over there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You got to keep listening to the radio show. Yeah. We're all about TSL, right, Stump Brain? <laughs> uh, Mars is on the phone with a mouse update. Our other studio infested with mice to the point where one bumped into Danny the other day. The guys that are sounds, working, and that they sounds like. He was walking into the office and like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's a little mouse briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and guys have seen him like scurry across the counters as they're trying to cut up audio and stuff. It, it's a yeah. real, real problem. So we're we're uh, trying to see who could catch a mouse first today. We got electric uh, traps set at the other place, and Mars is over there. Let's get an update, Mars. What do you got, man? Good morning, guys. Hi. Um, nothing dead yet, but certainly we had three sightings so far. Three oh. sightings? Yes, three sightings. Um, by especially by uh, the area the uh, that um, Travis works on the Dillette, by yeah. the vacuum cleaners. Yeah. That uh, we saw, I saw one there, and um, Evan saw one by his area by Buddy's area. Oh, there's a mouse set, a mouse trap set near Buddy's area. Right. He's, He's the right. hoarder, by the way, that mm. we have to work with. Yeah. Absolutely. You, you guys got all the primo spots except one. The primo spot also is uh, where Danny felt the mouse run over his toes. Yeah. That's a good spot there. So if you don't mind, uh, we're going to have the interns uh, also set up a one of the simple traps. Okay. And we'll, we'll beat you. We'll, they want to beat you with their simple trap. A snap trap, one of those? And these yeah. electric traps are definitely set, right? We watched the definitely. light go on and off? Absolutely, buddy. All right. Uh, as soon as we catch one, please call the show there, Mars. Absolutely, guys. No uh, problem. All right, Mars. We love Mars. We don't get him on the radio often, but he's a, he's a good man. Yeah, he's terrible on the air, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Opie and Anthony. Hey. Hey. Um, we got Sam in studio now. We got electric traps set all over this joint. Yeah. We have a little bet going to see who's going to catch a mouse first. So far, got to be honest. 
You might not get the big happy ending by the end of uh, today's show. No, it's not one of these things that we can plan. It's a fucking mouse. I understand that. What do you think it is? But overnight... It's Mr. Jangles. We don't know where this uh, mouse is going. <laughs> overnight, no one in this facility... <laughs> Mr. Jangle gonna be in the mouse so he gets down in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy. I didn't know Go that fucking one. shave your head and get electrocuted. <laughs> and Mr. Jangles probably was under the fucking heel of his shoe. <laughs> How does he fire shoot out of your eyes, dummy? <laughs> I, like the fucking, Jangles. I like to fucking take a nine iron and send Mr. Jangles on a trip. <laughs> Mr. Jangles. Yeah, he's gonna be in a mouse like he's in Florida. Is he? <laughs> you fucking delusional ass. Coffee. Strap in. <laughs> Coffee. We got a mouse update there, Seth. Water, set. like the drink. <laughs> the mouse oh, Shut mother, up, uh, motherfucker. <laughs> well, uh, all the traps have been set and reset, so they're all working. Just in case. In your spots that you chose this morning. Very good. And I think we may not have it by 11 o'clock, but by tomorrow morning, we could I just have so. a three-way tie. Yeah. It I, could be. Because once the lights go out. It could be a three-way tie. Um, unfortunately, we don't have, like, night shot cams. We could set up to see which trap was uh, sprung first. Are we setting a camera on one of the that traps would be nice. for the pal talkers? I don't know. They watch um, it all day? What about the one E-Rock uses all the time when he's supposed <laughs> to be working? Oh, really? Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, what if the girls want to see E Rock? Yeah. I know. I know. What if the girls want to see E Rock? They always want to see E Rock. Why would they want to see E Rock? I don't know. Because he's famous. <laughs> yeah, E Rock's the uh, famous E Rock. See, they're nodding out there. They want to see E Rock. I'm proud of them. Hey, uh, guys. There's hey. also something else going on. Now, Now, Buddy isn't here yet, but I'm right. hearing that he's going to lose his shit because we might have messed with his. With his uh, yeah, apparently he. His, uh, he doesn't like people fucking with his shit, with his um, yeah, dude, his we desk found a and everything. Fucking uh, a mouse nest <laughs> yesterday. His this area guy's a pig. Completely dismantled. He is disgusting. There is shit over there that is like just reeks. Uh, it food, um, coffee cups, just every everything. Disgust paper, which paper. Paper. <laughs> what a world. Yeah. Uh, which ma mice love. They fucking love just chewing the shit up and making nests out of it so they could have 80,000 more mice. And this fucking guy gets upset when his area is fucked with? Yes. Very well, much. excuse me. We share a space with this guy. And if he comes in here and starts fucking mouthing off, I'll go over there and straighten his shit out. Yeah, well, because, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and talks a lot of jazz. He talks a lot of... For a guy Shit. who will be in Ronkonkoma by the time Buddy walks in the yeah, door. Yeah, exactly. Ronkonkoma? <laughs> and talks a lot of mess. What you don't understand is there's a, <laughs> there's, a, there's a chance that they would cross paths if Anthony decides to stay here until 2 in the afternoon. <laughs> that ain't gonna you have a better chance of, <laughs> You have a better chance of Hugh Pinero moonwalking in here with a tuba crest. Uh, <laughs> oh, you didn't, Jimmy. Oh, no, Jimmy. the problem is he didn't ever. Oh, you <laughs> didn't, Anthony. Fucking guy. Who is, can, who is Buddy? Can I ask who that is? He's Buddy. a guy that had an mm. opportunity to leave this facility for a nice brand new facility and said, no, he had to make a stand for whatever reason I don't even know. So he he's the only one that still works here oh. among us, even though he has nothing to do with the radio show. Nothing. Who, who is he, though? What's he do? I he mean. fucking... I don't know. I, what does he do? I don't he, know. He produces higher standards or high standards or whatever the channel that used to be Frank's Place is. But they still Frank's Place over now is serious, right? It's yes. just called some high standards instead. Whatever. Yeah, they Jonathan, call it now. Lump of shit. But it's a jukebox for the most part, isn't it? No, uh, Jonathan Schwartzman comes in and... and does she? Schwartz. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Jonathan <laughs> Schwartz comes in. Schwartz. And, uh, is that the kid from Rushmore? <laughs> does he do the Broadway channel? He may, I don't know. He's no, vital to the organization. No, I was the other guy who did decide that, you know, leave Opie and Anthony alone. I'm, I'll go somewhere else and do my job. But this fuck decided, no, he has to stay here. And then he's got a hoarding mess over there. And he does have his uh, his chair chained to a file cabinet. I yeah. thought they were lying about That's that. Psycho. And then a big sign on the back of his chair that says, mine. Yeah. Are you shitting me? <laughs> no. Wow. Fuck this guy. I'll stay here. I'll fucking hang out. Looks like Carl from Slingblade's <laughs> oh, <okay>. father's house. Be <laughs> <laughs> great if it said mine and he sat on it and it blew up. <laughs> so, so, Ann, what would you do to Buddy if, if you stayed here until 2 in the afternoon to confront him? I'd explain to him in no uncertain terms yeah. that his fucking pile of shit that he doesn't want anyone to uh, mess with is infesting our shared area with mice. Which is not only unsanitary, but dangerous. There's something called the Hunter virus and the Black Plague that mice spread through their droppings. 
So I don't fucking uh, uh, need him bitching that somebody's fucking with his shit. How about he fucks with his shit? You fuck with your shit. Pick it up and put it in a garbage bag. <laughs> Along with all the fucking discs and everything else that you might use for that fucking whatever it is. Oh, shit. You're Buddy's telling him. Here. Good. Get in here. <laughs> <laughs> He's not here. No, I don't. I, wi I wish I would see him walk in. All right. Both of them. So do Ron Fez today. What? And sometime during the Ron Fez show, he'll walk in, and then you could have this big confrontation. Yeah, what the fuck? You don't take any shit? Yeah. You take no shit? Call me up. Three or four buds deep by fucking 11.15. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you go to town on this guy. Oh, yeah. Happen. You're going to yeah. see some fucking shit. I'm going to take it down to street level. Yeah, are you? Are you? Yeah, which yeah. Means hit the bricks. <laughs> yes. Are you? He is definitely a hoarder. He shows He's, up. He yeah. saves all the cardboard boxes, and he has them folded up. And he has every he has tons of cardboard. He's boxes. one of those people they're going to find in his apartment, like when a Barry. stack of phone books fall over and crush him. Yeah. He, he just he's a hoarder. Do you think he's a hoarder? Yeah. Think he's a hoarder. It's a box of pizza. That was one of the most disgusting things I've seen in this well, don't establishment. Don't we have a maintenance crew that comes in and cleans up, though? What? Who, they have no fucking uh, maids that come yeah, in the here? mice. Maids? <laughs> I thought we had guys that come in and maids. clean the office. Hell no. Maids? Yeah, what the fuck what, is this? What, what the fucking Ritz? About? Who cleans the office? Nobody. No That's one. Why, you saw the, you you saw the like mouse droppings they yesterday? They fucking fired everybody. They're going to keep a maid so we're happy with the fucking dust-free environment? Oh, yeah, but it looks like Nutsy Fagan's house over there. <laughs> <laughs> Nutsy. <laughs> That's really funny. They look like the fucking Carl's Father's house. <laughs> Carl's father from Sling Blade. Yeah. What a shithole. Oh, it was awful, Duval. Oh, I'd rather sleep in the shed, in the hole in the ground. Yeah. Poor little fella. Duval. How does, <laughs> Joe, how does Joe Biden sleep with his eyes open? How does uh -huh. this guy sleep at night? Those eyes can't possibly close. Oh, because of his uh, tight uh, skin. Oh, my God. Well, he has a wonderful hairdo. Yeah, yeah that's a good terrific? one. Yeah. How that is, is what is called. He got the, hair uh, plugs like Anthony did. No, he didn't. <laughs> he got hair plugs. Uh, when they were called plugs. <laughs> they're fucking... They're I have individual follicles <laughs> that were placed from uh, the area in the back of my head individually, uh -huh. uh, just like your hair grows. Can I see? The harvest they, area. They got the... From the harvest area. They got the plugs from the harvesting okay, area? Yes, and then not plugs. You said yes. <laughs> no, they're not plugs. You tricked me. <laughs> plugs were big rings of multiple hairs, like a like hundred of them. Yeah. This procedure is individual <laughs> follicles that are placed in the thinning area. And and just like your hair grows, they're put in exactly like that. Sure. The same grain, the same direction. If you're, you know your hair grows in a certain direction. If you have it facing the wrong way, it's going to look silly. You're not going to be able to brush it. So they take that into consideration. The natural hairline with these single follicles, mm. if you're uh, thinning in the front, they, not plugs. Plugs are what Joe Biden's got. So they're single plugs then? No, they don't even use the word plug. Tiny except plugs? for me when I say it to get treatment. Bi <laughs> no, fucking no, Biden. Kidding. Biden's plugs are actually held in with flesh colored thumbtacks. <laughs> <laughs> These are horrendous. It's the worst hair to That's ever. Horrible. Isn't it terrible? He looks like John Forsyth after he got caught in a flash fire. <laughs> he looks like one of those guys that ran out of money. You see him as you're walking oh, around. Oh, yeah. The guys that went broke. Well, I was working on it. <laughs> looks like one of the guys from Trading Places <laughs> right. at the end of the movie. <laughs> Mortimer. <laughs> yeah. Can I see your hair? The guys, uh, oh, it's not ready uh, for us. Uh, uh, a debut yet. He doesn't it's show anybody. I, greasing. We saw I gotta wait like uh, another two months and then it'll start really growing in. with plugs. It takes a fucking It's not while. plugs. They're individual <laughs> yeah, yeah. follicles. Some have uh, uh, one coming out of the single uh, follicle. Others have two and some have three. Mm. They use the <laughs> single ones on the front to really give that nice uh, natural hairline. And then the three at a time which is comes out of one follicle, but three hairs. It's a miracle. They put in the uh, uh, like the back to really fill it out. Mm -hmm. Is the other key difference that you have to wear a hat or a bandana for the rest of your for, life for a, a little like a fucking year? <laughs> a little <laughs> <or is that laughs> no. You got. Uh, I'm I'm definitely noticing you, some some things like some could bristles. You take your hat off. We don't have to look at the top of your head. I just want to see what your hair do looks like. Cause you, no, because it's really a haircut. You know what I did? It, it's so bad. I spray. <laughs> I spray this stuff on. Oh, the um, spray hair? No, not You're spray hair. Too? No! no <laughs> the stuff, it, it, a guy will stand over you, and it comes in a flesh-colored pump. <laughs> yes. It, it smells like chlorine. So, you, <laughs> so you're using that spray hair? No, I fuck? don't. know. it's a spray. Oh, the black that spray that makes the, no. your hair look full No! Of. <laughs> you should just buy no! the hat. No! 
You should just buy the hat with the hair <laughs> stapled to the back of it. Yeah. Just, <laughs> the <laughs> mullet baseball cap. Yeah. That's fucking Mike Myers' fucking hat in Wayne's World. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when they redid it re recently for MTV or whatever it was. When oh, it came God. Out. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, there, there's nothing worse than Fat Wayne. <laughs> yeah. He's just oh, I know. Fat. Yeah. <laughs> Not a kid. <laughs> he was a fun interview. No, though. no. It's, it's oh, <laughs> God, pulling teeth. Yeah. Oh, Steve Martin's wonderful. Oh, why don't you die in a fucking boating accident? <laughs> All right, so, uh. No, it's really bad. I, uh, but I have to get my hair cut for uh, uh, Little Warren Dean's christening. So after that, I will let you see. Because it just looks too fucking Can't we see bad it messy? right now. No, no, That's no, great. no. Because you know what it is? It's all like um, uh, scummy, gr greasy scummy. and under my hair ha hat and everything. That's great. No, it's horrid. You have fucking you have drifter hair. <laughs> yes, I do drifter hair. I have hobo hair. I said hobo. Are you the, are you the hitchhiker? <laughs> yes. Are you going to take us into torrid tales with twists of fate? <laughs> I've noticed. It's like little bristles. It comes in. It's amazing. But it takes, you know, you, you're you really not going to be able to notice for four years. to six months oh. or 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> for like four to six months. It takes a while because you, you, you implant in the follicle and then it's got to grow. And you can't fucking force hair to grow. Sure you can. It just takes a while. No, you can't. Yell at it. Oh, right. It's like a tree. It talks to it like a plant. No. <laughs> Anthony, is it true if uh, you can see Anthony's plugs today, we have six more weeks of winter? <laughs> no! They're not plugs. It was individual follicles to fill in the thinning areas. Yes, Anthony pops his head out. If somebody tries to comb something, it's six more no. weeks of winter. See, I noticed when I was on video, yeah. um, uh, and, and then the light's right over your head, yeah. you notice like uh, it's... You could see a bright spot of scalp, right. so I wanted that taken care of. That's why you got the black spray paint. So that no, I don't get black now. spray paint. I didn't want to do now. the black spray paint, so I went for uh, a sharpie. The, uh, you just uh, use medical a hair restoration. <laughs> I didn't use the sharpie. <laughs> He's a Puerto Rican with a can of black spray paint, <laughs> like in you, Taken. The sharpie. You draw that sharpie line in like Homer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that zigzag around. All right, let's take a look. Why don't you borrow Liam Neeson's wig? Yeah, that's a lovely I need color. a wig. Yeah. We don't have to see the top of your head. I just want to like take your hat off. Like, you can even move back, so we don't. No, have to it really study. isn't because it would be a misconception. Because I think you have like some kind of weird what? mullet going on now. No, there's different lengths of hair. No, it's very like there's a lot on the sides, <laughs> uh, and, and and the back, uh -huh. and then like in the on the top, it's very so, short. So cut everything. And let it no, because equally, I just want to get a regular haircut uh -huh. on the uh, sides and the back and stuff and the front. And then leave like that area that was thinning because it's growing in. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, I want it to feel good about itself. I don't want to go. Oh, now I'm gonna. You know, you're just starting to sprout out. Now I'm gonna cut you off. But it's under a hat. Does that make it harder for it to grow? No, it's genetic. It's no. all genetic. And I, I take the hat off once I, you know, no leave the studio. Yeah. I get in my truck and the hat goes in the passenger seat and I drive home looking silly. Right. I look like a madman when I yell at fucking. Certain ethnic people that can't drive. You have hat head and it's so greasy oh. and matted, and some of it's missing. And I like try to take my fingers and and pull it back, and I just look like fucking Count Dracula, and I'm yelling at people. That's <laughs> fantastic. Bad for plugs, you can rip them out. If you They're not it. plug. No, I could tug on my fucking hair because it's your natural hair. Once it's in, it's done. It's a done deal. It's in. They can't come out. It's not a wig. It's not a fucking a hair system. Mm -hmm. It's my natural growing hair. I can cut All it, right. color it, do whatever I want with it. Except touch it. They put in. <laughs> no, you could do anything. They put his just... hair in like the fucking pegs in the battleship. <laughs> no, that's not. That's plugs, and it's not plugs. It's individual follicles. It's like fiber optics. More than that. Call Nobody... it whatever you call it. Whatever you want to make yourself feel better. It's no, okay. it's not plugs. We're they they yeah. say plugs. We're your pals. If you watch the uh, <laughs> commercials, you watch the commercials for it, and they show you what old plugs were. <laughs> They were literally cookie cutter plugs that they pulled out of your head and just put on top because they weren't worried about what your scalp or hairline were, yeah, looked like. Yeah. They hoped well the hair that was growing would cover that up. Mm -hmm. But this, you can look right down to the scalp and not even notice. See, people think that uh, hair uh, a replacement uh, treatment looks bad because they've only seen bad ones. The good ones, you don't even notice because you don't notice it because it looks natural. We That's all... why I went to medical hair restoration and got the thinning areas in, in the back of my head uh, filled in. <laughs> That's why they call this 
<laughs> we all believe that you. We all believe that you got this futuristic treatment that nobody's ever heard of before. Yeah. No, it's not futuristic. <laughs> it's it's an improvement over the years upon the initial idea that wow. hair can be transplanted from an area that is genetically engineered not to fall out to areas that genetically do uh, get affected with uh, uh, male pattern uh, baldness. Your method was actually one step below shaving your mustache and taping it to the area. <laughs> it was not. It was uh, wonderful. Sprinkling it took pubes on one day. It took one day and then within a week uh, you couldn't even notice I had had anything done and then in time it grows in and I'm noticing uh, it's growing in. It's not plugs. It's not surgery. Uh, you're not uh, put under. It's nothing like that. When you watch the, movies when it's... Uh, when do we get the big reveal, man? Yeah, it's, you know, it's, we, there's some discomfort can we, can occasionally. We, but Can we at least set a date for the big reveal? Because we're all uh, curious. Well, after I'm a little, little, more, little uh, I'm, Laurentine's christening. I, I'm paying close attention there, Joe, because if it works for Ant... <laughs> You don't have a problem, do you? Uh, I'm getting there. Are you really? Yeah, give me another year or two, and I'll I'll be the guy yelling and screaming that they're not plugged. <laughs> you know what I did do the other day? First time ever. What? I bought a hairbrush. What's that? I haven't combed my hair. I since actually I was brushed my hair, and I haven't done that in in centuries. <laughs> I just have. Do you just brush your hair in front of a like a, a big mirror? I sit there and play the like, Happy Days music yeah. and use a comb, and then I just go, hey, it's but, good. Wait, do you count? One, Yeah, two, I'm Marsha Brady, 100 right. strokes. 100 strokes. Do you I'm blow like a, cock, you fucking fat whore. You blow a fan <laughs> at your head so it's flowing? Yes, I want Fabio it. hair. Yeah. That's what I want to grow in. That's the way to do it. No, I just, because, because um, hair, hair is growing in. Yeah. I see it. All right. And I want to, you know... Get get uh, uh, some kind of hairstyle. I don't know what I do. I usually I used to just leave it. You see it, huh? I would shower. You also hear voices. And then and... the voices are real. Oh, okay. They're yes. telling me the war is coming. <laughs> Why is Sam still standing there? Yeah, Sam. Sam's got uh, hair. Uh, I sh could show you pictures, Sam. I had uh, hair like that. Yeah. So you can look forward to it a great happen. future yeah. of yeah. having uh, follicles implanted in your head too. Oh, how <laughs> great would Sam look with a big bald spot? Oh, it would be great. It doesn't happen to everyone. I would love that. I want to put a handlebar mustache on you. <laughs> Why? Can we get yeah. at least a fake one for some pictures? I guess so. I guess so. so. Look like dear old dad. His dad has a handlebar mustache, Joe. Yes. Really? For real. That's awesome. He's old school. He's had it for, what, 30, 40 years? It yes. doesn't reject it. <laughs> they don't reject. It's fine. They're in there and they're growing and it's done. It's not like going to pop out and reject. It's not a kidney, fucko. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Gotta straighten that guy's shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how come your dad doesn't have, have a more mustache? Just I guess he might. juggles at Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck else has a, a handlebar mustache these days? He's a days. weightlifter in 1910. <laughs> Does he run a candy store? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a new one. Got to head to the left. I'm assuming it was in style when he grew it. It was wow. never in style. It might have been. The handlebar yeah. mustache was never in style. Those were those. Those were the rebels, man. Those in were the like guys the old West their pictures, thing. that's the only time I've seen it. Well, maybe he was like a younger guy, and he saw those old West pictures, and he's no, like, "Yeah, no. badass." New, no. new. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is your dad yeah. tying someone to the railroad yeah, tracks? <laughs> Does your dad ever say, "No"? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Does he demand rent from uh, young women or old ladies? He's not evil. <laughs> Never yeah. threaten tying to the train tracks. Does no, he go no, around no. shutting down orphanages? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Do you have a cape? Does he ever pull it up over his face and walk away very snidely? He doesn't have a cape. No? Or a hat. All right. No hat? A little, like, stovepipe type hat? No, he does not. Mm. He just has his handlebar mustache. He doesn't do change very well, so he yeah. grew it at one point and then... He realized if he shaved it, it would be a change, there's, so he didn't. Plus, a, it goes really good with his monocle. Well, yeah, no. No. He'd have a monocle? <laughs> yeah. He has glasses. That's, that's good. You know, the, lenses. the handlebar mustache just touches the surface uh, as far as Sam's dad goes. Yeah. He drinks what? 
buttermilk? Yeah, he drinks buttermilk. Buttermilk? <laughs> what the? Your, right. your father fucking yeah. is, is, is he, <laughs> he took a time machine. Wait, yeah. buttermilk, for, like, all day? Well, not, like, all day, but he will sit down on a Sunday and have a glass of buttermilk. If everybody's having a glass of milk, he will have a glass What's of What's he trying to look like, the guy buttermilk. on the chance cards in Monopoly? <laughs> 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 Drinking buttermilk with a fucking mustache? Well, he must have a throat-clearing nasal sinus. Oh, oh shit, buttermilk God, is so gummy. thick. Ugh. 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 You're just filled with no. fat. You can't get more fat. Does he like snores. putting salt in it? <laughs> no. Does your family often gather on a Sunday afternoon for a nice glass of milk? Buttermilk. No. Mm. Sits around. What's the other thing he does? Just throws it on his back. <laughs> <laughs> I went. <laughs> I have the T H R out on that one, Jim. <laughs> have you? I know how that started. Sam was young and he went, Daddy, what's that in your mustache? And he went, Ah, oh, uh, buttermilk. 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 And now he has to drink it. It was buttermilk. <laughs> and then he, it was in his mustache, so he just twisted it up into a handlebar <laughs> as an excuse. <laughs> How come every time the black gardener leaves, <laughs> oh, buttermilk in your mustache? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I didn't have a list. Oh, yeah. What else does he do? There's one other thing he that, that shocked me. Sardines. Uh, out sardines. of the can. Horrendous. These are oldie <laughs> things. Jesus. These are old yeah. time things. What, is he a hobo? Yeah. yeah. No, he's he's got the bandana tied to the end of a stick, yeah. waiting for a freight train. He's a yeah, stocking cap. <laughs> he's like that bum in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> no, now that is not. just it amazing. Just, that's what he likes. There's your dad. <laughs> There's a picture of a guy with a head up on mustache, a monocle, and one of those shemp-powered hairdos that are just uh, greased and uh, parted in the middle. Sam's father once shot a man for snoring. <laughs> just for snoring. In the Time Life books. <laughs> is he hoping to get money off O.J. Simpson? No. But he is oh, hoping that the right. same thing happens. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. What the... <laughs> no, that's not true either. Nice. Aw. Yeah, that is an oldie time look. Well, you gotta yeah. admit. It's coming back, yeah. though. No, it's not. Are you sure? No. Dude, dude, it was never. What'd you get him for Christmas? Happened. Spats. <laughs> <laughs> when you would bring home a black girl, would, you, would your father go. Does your dad stand with his hands on his hips? <laughs> How old school is he? If you bring home a black girlfriend, would your father go, Who's the belly warmer? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> is this really Sam's dad? <laughs> oh, shit. What? Uh -oh. Sam's dad. It probably is. Sam's dad. Where? Hello? Hello? You're on the air, sir. Hello? Yeah, Hi. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is Sam's dad for real. Do I get residuals for this? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's, the, what's with the mustache? Old person. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what's with the mustache, Sam's dad? The mustache has always been there. I was a way back when I started. I had a I had a bit of an ego problem, so that was a cheap way to get it, and it never left. Cheap way to get what? Like an ego? An ego, sure. <laughs> you look important when you have a handlebar mustache. Wow, he's got to be someone. Yeah. Really? Yeah. In well, what year, though? Well, I mean, what you know. Year? Yeah, it's like that's a that's. You might as well just shave it into a Hitler. <laughs> this was in the mid in the mid sixties. Mid '60s, it probably really didn't go. Like there were hippies and. Uh... You don't. You wouldn't believe the action I got in the mid '60s <laughs> with the handlebar mustache. With the handlebar mustache, wow. including you might be interested to know Sam's mother. Oh, oh, oh Sam! Oh, Damn, oh, Sam, your dad got action with the handlebar mustache. How does that make you feel? Uh, awkward and uncomfortable. Oh God, I can only imagine in the mid '60s what that must have looked like. It looked like two Bigfoot fighting. <laughs> 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 similar to the action that Sam gets with his hair now, right? Oh, oh see? A little, yeah. Uh, yeah. People think I'm important because I got a unique hairstyle. Exactly. Did yeah. your dad ever tell you, like, Dad, could you shave the mustache, Sam? If it wasn't for this mustache, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah. Right no, this no, is no. how it all happened. Your hey, Mom liked this mustache. Hey, Sam's dad, what's up with the buttermilk? <laughs> Listen, you guys don't understand. Buttermilk is one of the great treats of all time. <laughs> 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 Buttermilk. I don't even know where you find it. it. When I started yeah. as a kid, I used to drink buttermilk with crumbled up saltine crackers. Oh, <laughs> holy <laughs> mother of God! Disgusting. It is great treat. So the so the so the best lunch in the world, which Sam has probably already done me in on already, I'm sure, is sardines with a dill pickle 
glass of buttermilk on Ugh. bread, and it's, it doesn't get much better. And a little no. view into the Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> How bad are your farts, Sam? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, Dad. Dad. <laughs> buttermilk. Imagine if he was lactose intolerant, too. Buttermilk, sardines, yeah. pickles, oh. and what? He's start shitting, and the sardines are swimming upstream <laughs> back to <laughs> his asshole <laughs> like Part salmon. It's a <laughs> no, oh. no issue of, uh, of fat. There's no issue yeah. of... We just put calories or none of that stuff. It's yeah. just great stuff. We got a picture of uh, Sam's dad's bike up That's on not uh, my yeah, dad. It you got a big that, screen. The no. huge wheel up front, and the little one in the back. <laughs> we don't have a bike like that no? in my house. No, I got nervous that he was calling to challenge one of us to a duel. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where I got uh, eating raw potatoes from. What you guys eat raw potatoes at your house? Too? He told me that was another one of the great treats of all. Time. Great treats of all time. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the great treats of all time. <laughs> why make, is, why make, is that a great treat? <laughs> Your father's a, a newsreel. Yeah. <laughs> to make the phone call into the show, he had to crank his phone and then get the operator to plug that, that jack into the wall. Operator, no. get me Murray Hill 5 6262. That's Murray Hill 5 6262. Yes. Sir, sir, I didn't have time to listen to the news today. What did Walter Winchell have to say? <laughs> what did he dish about Hollywood this morning? All I'm trying to do, and there are a few of us around that are trying to maintain standards, even bring some back. But no, no, we have to be the, the butt of, of uh, this sort of I don't think that one's going to catch on, though. It's one of those things that kind of is just in history and kind of remains there, like the Hitler mustache. It's a, a man of great class has a handlebar mustache. That's yeah, true. Yeah. And here are our brave doughboys shipping off for Europe. Does your mom like the handlebar mustache, Sam? They'll beat the Kaiser. <laughs> I think... What does mom think of the mustache? I think she likes the mustache like uh, my girlfriend likes my afro in that it's just been there for so no. long at this point. Yeah. She puts up with it. She's trying to hire Joaquin Phoenix to take it off <laughs> like Nicole Kidman did. Matt Dillon. <laughs> <laughs> Too obscure. <laughs> Get it? All right, Sam. Listen, yeah, I yeah. have to. I have to go. I have important things to do. You guys, drinking buttermilk, eating potatoes, yeah, so, and, sardines, uh, pickles. Uh, how much? How much is mustache wax? Actually, I don't use mustache wax anymore. What do you use? It's it's just natural. It's when not <laughs> butter uh, buttermilk. No, I, I used to, but that was a long time ago. Are you? Yeah. Do you have to leave now? Are you running some bootlegged liquor? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen. All guys, right, listen, Sam's dad. Guys, you guys get back to more moral uplift there. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Damn. Um, we'll see you. Just take it easy. <laughs> All right. Sam's dad, everyone. Great. <laughs> Boy, he's uh, he's a big smart ass like you, huh? You got called out on that one. Good. What did he have to tend to the still? <laughs> <laughs> Everything Sam's dad does is in fast motion. <laughs> <laughs> is he going to beat you with a stitch? Because we're funny. <laughs> That's I, funny. I bet everything. You know, the most modern camera when you take pictures of him, it's just all grainy. I was about to, I was it's trying to got <laughs> scratches in it, like a brand new camera. He's all in fast motion with grainy scratches. I was trying to work some grainy joke I couldn't get to. Ding, 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 yeah, yeah, that's the only piano. digital camera that you need to throw like a a little yeah. tape over yourself. Yeah. Yes. That <laughs> smile. Oh, yeah, he's got to yeah. hold that big thing. Big thing of yeah. gunpowder. Gun <laughs> now remember, hold still. Here we are with Sam's father in Times Square. <laughs> it's victory over Europe Day. Now if we can only defeat the Japs. Okay. <laughs> that shouldn't take too long. <laughs> Here he is making out with Sam's mother. Oh, I wonder if a little Sam will be made today. This conversation is ridiculous because if you weren't here, he wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Can, can we bring awful. in all that stuff for tomorrow's show and make Iraq eat sardines, <laughs> drink buttermilk, pickles, and raw potatoes, and mustache wax? Pickles and raw potato. <laughs> Why some... can't you? What? He, oh, uh, fuck you. What did he say? He said in my ear, he goes, I can't. I started a diet Monday. Oh, really? he's on Steve's girl's what? diet. Fuck be, that. The, the diet will be very easy to keep with no employment, so you won't be able to buy <laughs> snacks. Dude, you have to eat Sam's Sam's dad's snack, which is... Which uh, is, what did he call him? The, the, uh, some of the greatest treats the world has ever seen. Treats the world has <laughs> ever seen. We're doing it tomorrow on the show. He's like, sardines... <laughs> Pickles, right. yep. buttermilk, and raw potato. Raw potato and some uh, nice saltine crackers sprinkled in the milk. <laughs> in, in, the in the milk? In the buttermilk. Yes, in the buttermilk. Oh That's not a great treat. That's what he takes with him when he takes his snake oil wagon yeah. on the road. What does he do for New Year's Eve? Zip his ball bag up and his zipper on purpose? <laughs> 
one of the greatest treats the world ever knows. Yes. Sometimes I just need to feel good to get a bit lighter by his penis. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Who's going to remember this for tomorrow? I will. E-Rock, you have to do this tomorrow. Of course he does. Did you ever catch you... him coming down for buttermilk with a little candle in that little <laughs> no. thing you hold with your finger and the stocking cap? Yeah. <laughs> Did he tell you stories about Jacob Marley? <laughs> 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 Uh, Your dad acts like it's the 1800s. It's a simpler time. He, well, <laughs> he wasn't even alive from everything. His no, like wasn't. his snacks, his snacks, no. his snacks and his mustache. And he's a history buff, and so I think he is just, he. Yeah, he kind of gets into that whole thing. He just fell into oh my a god, simpler a simpler time. Dude, we line up this shit tomorrow. It's gonna <laughs> oh, oh horrific. Fucking buttermilk <laughs> with, 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 with saltines, saltines crushed with in saltines it. Saltines crushed. It's like everything <laughs> that shouldn't be mixed is mixed. And he he eats That's all this disgusting. at the same time. Yeah, that's a meal. That is a meal that you give like orphans in the in the little rascals. Yeah. Orphans. That's when they're trying to get away. Your dog wouldn't even eat that. He tried to Don't drink the milk, it's spoiled. He tried to sell my girlfriend on what a treat buttermilk was, and I was over there going, Yeah, it's really good. You should try some. While you're trying to do that, you know what that would do to a girl? She tried the next it. day she'd be fucking huge. Yeah, well, she, she had just, awful gassers. She tried a sip and didn't enjoy it. No. No. no Did you try know. it with the crackers in it? No, we didn't put any maybe that was a problem. Oh, well, there it's no not the best treat the world has ever known if, how, you, if how, you don't put crackers wait, in it. How thick is the buttermilk? It's like, how thick, is it like egg whites it's like or quicksand? It has to be. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be. twice as thick as whole milk. Ugh. Fucking oh, buttermilk dude. is horrible. The thought of that is <sighs> making me feel like one guy, <laughs> like when yeah, I was watching yeah. that, like it's making me like that, like, ugh. Buttermilk. Fucking. A raw potato? Yeah, those are good. They're no, they're good. not. They're <laughs> starchy <laughs> fucking they messes. Right. If you want a, a treat like that, eat an apple. Yeah. At least it's uh, sweet. It's got the same like kind of consistency almost. Who's he raised by wolves? His father was raised by wolves. The buttermilk with the crackers tastes like the nipple milk of a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> how do you eat a raw potato? Like how do you? What do you do with it? I mean, well, you could slice it up or not. You don't need to. Like in chips, it? like chips. Yeah, you just you could, but you don't have to. You do you just, skin it? Yeah, you definitely skin it. You skin it. Oh you well, that's crazy it. not to. Of yeah. course. Now yeah. salt it. What are you insane? Yeah, you put Jeez, some salt yeah. on it. And yeah. Then, what do you dip it in vodka? What the fuck's the matter with him? <laughs> no, you just, you it's know, crazy. cold water so it's nice and chilled, and put some salt on it, and you just take a bite of And then you and Dad uh, sit down. Potato, eating some, you know, raw potatoes. Watch Mary Pickford in her latest picture. <laughs> <laughs> America's sweetheart. No talkies allowed in that house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, we got I it. wish you'd pull a fatty Arbuckle with your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> with a bottle? Yeah, yes, a, the old bottle Coke bottle. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, he pink socked that cunt. He sure did. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> She had it coming. Yeah, you want to fuck the funny man? Take the punishment. That's what you get, toots. Let's get a handlebar asshole. <laughs> Let's get the fake handlebar mustache for tomorrow's uh, bit. Okay. Sam, you're in charge of this. And E-Rock, you're doing this, right? Yeah, I guess so. No, look, he's all upset. Oh, yeah, no, he has now to he's eat. got an excuse. He's going to eat like a fucking pig tonight <laughs> because tomorrow he's going to uh, do this. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can puke it up after you're done. Yeah. You just started yesterday. You can stick fingers that you're not going to you're not going to like swallow this stuff. You're, it's coming yeah. back up. I don't think you'll puke. What is it? What, Sardine the... buttermilk pickles. In a... <laughs> Are you kidding Dill me? Pickles? Who the f <laughs> who could eat like yeah. that? What else is old iron stomach like? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus Christ. He's one of those guys that can just probably drink a lot without puking. He's one of those guys that just has an iron stomach. Like, does he, nothing uh, probably bothers him. Does he uh, like to drink a little bit? No, he did at a time. Uh -huh. He doesn't anymore. Oh, oh, so he quit. At a time. What did he drink? Well, I mean, he drinks beer now. Like, but uh, not like... He, oh, okay. and he gets oh, yeah. drunk once. I've seen him drunk once. Yeah? yeah. All right. Let's we... go smack you around? Yeah. That'd be yeah, cool. but he put Sam in the hospital. He went up in jail for three weeks. <laughs> a couple of extra foot pounds per second per second. <laughs> what I would have one little afro hair on his fucking little head. <laughs> Is his favorite drink sarsaparilla? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like birch beer. <laughs> That's a good tonic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get me some of those headache powders. <laughs> All right, we got we got a bit for tomorrow. We got to take a quick break. And All we got, righty. We promised the Christian Bale on edited yes. before we get out of here. So quick break, and we'll do that to wrap this uh, mess up. All right. I forgot to mention I'll be at Caroline's this week, Thursday through Sunday. All right. Mm. All right. 
I just checked the mouse traps. Nothing, Ant. Nothing. That's all right. It's uh, like fishing. You got to be patient. I don't think we're gonna have a win today, but I think tomorrow we're gonna open up the show with some uh, some nice results. Yeah, I I, I have confidence. <clears throat> Make sure those things are on and they got new batteries in them. We'll be frying some mice sometime mm. between now and tomorrow morning. Buddy's not gonna be happy. Fuck him and his screw fuck him. Well, I wish you. he'd walk I, in I here right now. Why don't you stick around and really about a thing or two? Why don't you speak your mind today and you know hang around, wait for him to show up? Do you realize when you tell me to hang around <laughs> that it's just it's so yeah. never gonna happen? <laughs> you might as well tell Anthony just to hover in midair like a bird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't wait for tomorrow's show. What what is it called again? The uh, the treat the greatest treat the world has ever known. <laughs> the greatest treat one of the, one of the world's greatest one treats. One of the world's greatest treats. They're fucking horrendous I, treats. I was saying they're, they're not treats. They're they're awful they're things. Punishments. I, yes. <laughs> Jimmy, you might be able to help me out. I, I was saying during the commercial, that could be the worst combination of food and beverage I've ever heard of. It's crap. <laughs> as as far as treats go, I'd rather have castor oil and be raped with a cheerleading baton <laughs> <laughs> than fucking buttermilk with crushed crackers in it. World's uh, greatest treats. Yeah. What's the point of the crackers? I don't, even know, what I don't know. Give it some fucking viscosity. It's already like it's, a gooey mess. Yeah. Yeah. It's like deer snot. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, you want to see... Uh, make it lumpy. That's what you want. Wow. Buttermilk isn't bad enough. I want to make it lumpy. I've heard uh, of crackers and milk. Like, uh, they, no. You give no. that to a, that to no. a baby. No. No, people smash up crackers and milk no. and give it to the baby. That's probably the baby will eat. You, you got to see Eastside mm. Dave. He just completely took me out of our conversation. Yeah, I, I haven't seen him yet. It's annoying me that he won't poke his head in. No. He's, uh, he's being all the fucking Ronifez uppity. beard bit is over, right? Who won, by the way? I didn't get to listen to the end uh, of the show. They... Round one was just weighing the beard hair. Right. And I believe um, Fezzi won that one. All right. And then they had round two where they shaved their heads and added it in. And uh, Dave won that one. You know what? It doesn't look that bad. I told it looks okay. It doesn't <laughs> you, look that bad. You look odd. I, I wanted to beat you up, but it I'm doesn't so look that bad. I'm no. so used to seeing you the other way that that kind of looks yeah. weird. Yeah, there was such curly locks. Too. Yeah, rough as noon to three. No, this is terrible. <laughs> this is this is the worst look I've that's no happened beard to me and ever. no hair on the top of your head. You kind of they said you kind of look like the powder dude. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Only fatter, only fatter. <laughs> worse complexion, <laughs> it farts too much. The uh, People on the I, I ride the same bus every day, and it's the same exact people. And usually, people don't sit next to me because of the beard. Yeah. Now people are not even sitting next to me, in front of me, or behind me <laughs> because of the crazy ass fucking <laughs> yeah. psycho neo Nazi look I've got going you do right have now. Like a really good yeah. skinhead look to you. Yeah. I mean, no one's going near me at this. Point. That's convenient. It's good. I can stretch out. I can yeah. use basically the whole back of the bus is mine. Good it's, for you. It's not that bad. It's he did the same thing. And I'll tell you what it magnifies. I've never lost the weight from the biggest gainer con con uh, contest. <laughs> Thank you, Opie and Anthony, for making me a fatso. <laughs> and it, it never... I went from 195 spelt... You are a little you, sir? skinny kid. David. What's up? Um, I went from 195 yeah. to 216. <laughs> Haven't dropped an ounce, Jimmy. Why didn't you shave the eyebrows too? I mean, that's the, wow. It's about the whole that thing. Would really it be wasn't up. in the in the contest. It, if it could have helped my beard results, it would have because I was about 0.5 an ounce away wow. from Fez. How much did the beard hair weigh? It was he had a 0. 0.411 of an ounce. I had 0. 0.36 of an ounce. Whose pot scale did you use? Yeah, someone's drug we scale. We have some Pepper Hicks, uh, who's ah, a known whatever, drug whatever. Whatever. <laughs> 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 There's a known drug <laughs> I want to ask Dave the plumber. Do you think that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dave the plumber. plumber nice. uh, you, do, you really did. You used to be like a skinny kid yeah. when you first started here, and I right. make it sound like... Uh, and there he was, up on the team. Yes. He's signing I mean, autographs. I, ugh. What happened? I remember Jim Norton used to refer to me as that... Svelte redhead intern. Yes, like, yes. Paid. But it wasn't that long ago. It was so years much ago. has happened. But so much has happened. I to have you. two kids. You have two kids, <laughs> a wife. You're five, fat. And let's face it, my alcohol problem continues to spiral downward. <laughs> can, can I? I can I, 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 I cup a fart and throw it to you? <laughs> Yeah, will you, please. Can I ask you a question? I don't do yeah, any more stunts. No, no. no stunts. No stunts. Yeah, he's not allowed to do stunts. I'm, 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 I'm no, no, retired no. from stunts. Ronnie gets very upset when he does stunts on our show. This time is bad. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. It knocked him down. Jimmy, your fart fucking knocked it down. Jimmy cut that perfectly, by the way. Oh. He, he grabbed it in his hand, left enough uh, space for the fart, and then slowly just wafted yes. it. 
under Dave's like nose. And eating perfect. formaldehyde sandwiches? <laughs> it was a perfect uh, delivery. It is the, the way floor. Obi-Wan Kenobi would have yeah. done it. Yes, it was like a force push. <laughs> he fucking went right to the floor. You, you hear about Sam's dad and his little treat. What is it called again? I want to say it every time, but I can't. Uh, the greatest treat the world has ever one of the world's world's seen. One of the world's greatest treats. Did you I, hear this yet? I, I, no. Tomorrow, E-Rock's got to do Sam's father's uh, treat. Basically, Sam's father eats sardines. Yeah. Drinks buttermilk with uh with what? With Cracker saltines, saltines ground up in the buttermilk. And pickles. And pickles. <laughs> and raw potatoes. And raw and potatoes. Raw potatoes. <laughs> and then he shakes it with gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> so E Rock's gotta eat that tomorrow on the show. Yeah. That's fantastic. Not yeah. as good as Beard Wars, Jeez. I understand, but yeah. you know. He's he's got got he stuff, eats but. like he's one of the Wolverines at Red Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> in the yeah. woods. Whatever you can get. <laughs> uh Joe had a question for you, Eastside. I just want to yes, know. Sir. Why did you decide to not do another season on The Shield? Oh, this year? oh golly damn. Wow. Golly damn. You're going to hear a lot of those. Oh, in the look at days. Now Dave has had it. Now he's fucking leaving. Really? No. All right. See you later. Oh. Wow. See you later, Ruff. Look at that body. Two to three. There you go. That is. He could not be more Irish. <laughs> you are so fucking Irish. Dude, for a poor in doing, for a poor guy, you you sure know how to find food. He does. He's not old, and his belly is like fucking. You're he's got like the body of. Yo, a uh, fucking... Dave, no stunts, no stunts. That's, yeah, no stunts. That's, that's close to stunting right yeah, there. Yeah, you don't want Ronnie have... mad. He has a he has a body like a fucking like a ghost, like like <laughs> it's like it's, it's, it's just it's hanging. Yeah. He's got like hanging stuff on him. You know, there's uh, an update on Sully today. Really? What, Peta? Pedo, was he kicked off of uh, MySpace with 90,000 other people? Yeah. His, his goodness is really starting to bother me. Yeah, is he just a good guy? I was I was in with the whole hero thing. I thought it was a nice little story considering what the hell's going on with the world these days. So it was a nice little break from from uh, from everything. All that other crap. I was in. I was so in with the Sully guy. There's an article in, in the paper today. He's such a do-gooder. He's worried because he's not going to be able to return a, a book to the library. Yes, did I you read this? Did read that. And he actually called up the library yesterday and said, "Look, I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm not going to be able to return the book on ethics." I'll stop. He's lying. It was Rent Boys. <laughs> <laughs> he's glad it's at the bottom of the Hudson <laughs> on ethics. And yeah, you you nailed it. The book is at the bottom of the Hudson. Yeah. So I'm sure there's going to be some scuba divers going, oh, my God, that book's worth something. i got to get the book. You think the library would make a big deal and be like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> library said it's okay. And no one he doesn't have to pay. Or he'll be in there, like, giving them a few bucks for the book for a photo no. op. No, no, <laughs> no one librarians. They're, they're a bunch of sticklers. They're going to just, like, ride them, ride them for it. They do. Uh, Late charges. Well, yeah. the, the book was called How to Cook Geese at 5,000 feet. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of needed that book <laughs> for that flight. <laughs> the turbine engine. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> fun, fun snacks for the turbine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, he is quite the do-gooder. He really is. There's got to be some horrific skeletons in his closet. There's got to be a blip somewhere. Something. something. Yeah, there's got to be. We all have something, don't we? Why is it that we just don't want to accept that this guy is just a decent human being? Uh, him and his wife uh, uh, shed tears over mm -hmm. the whole event uh, mm -hmm. when they had their private moments together, talking about how um, he really thought it was going to be... Uh, a horrific incident. Yeah. When he was coming in, he didn't have this, you know, a brash confidence that he was going to be able to land that thing like he did. And when it comes to surviving, the pilots, uh, they're pretty uh, much the first ones to go. Bad. He Most said it was planes like, don't have the nose up when they crash, right. is what it is. <laughs> he said it was a surreal moment and, you know, and that it was just silence. Yeah. Because he knew there was there was no engines running. There was yeah. nothing. It was just silence in the air. You just hear a little wind whipping over yeah. the wing. Oof. Him being a glider pilot, though, is used oh, yeah. to that. You of know, course. They, that's all you hear uh, in a glider, apparently, is just the wind over the wings. But when you have a... Uh, an Airbus like that, you don't you don't want to hear, hear just air over your wings. Just amazing. Anyway, uh, we just checked the mouse traps because some people care. How are we doing? 
Sully freed the mice. Oh, <laughs> that bastard. He saved them. He's everywhere. Oh, that do-gooder. Sully's just going around doing everything good for everything. He was putting solvent on the mouse feet to help nurse them back to health. <laughs> <laughs> Sully. What a creepy is. Ruining our bit. I know. I understand he's been tending to the fish that he's landed on, too. He has a tank full of injured fish. <laughs> We should put some peanut butter on that pedo mustache of his and let the, let the mice do some nibbling. Yeah, rat and garanimals get stuck to his face. <laughs> yeah, we got electric mouse traps set at the other joint. And uh, because people, some people out there care, uh, we have no kills. Still no, no kills, kills. Zero kills. Very surprised at that. But um, then again, there's so much food for these uh, mice yeah. that uh, they don't have to be going into some kind of electric maze to find treats. I know, there's treats, the treats are everywhere, everywhere. Because of that dummy. Yeah, but we're going to keep checking on the mouse traps as the show goes on today. Disgusting hoarder over there. He, oh, he moved uh, one of the mouse traps. He moved uh, Jimmy's mouse trap. What? Yeah, yeah. Why? It was in his area. He wasn't happy about, about it. How about there's pests in your area? He wasn't happy about it. There's, there's, there's pestilence in your area, and the trap needs to be there because you're a slob, and that's why there's a trap there. And what about the rat poison? Did he move that? I don't know. Did he move those blue crystals, those delicious-looking blue crystals? <laughs> they look like Pop Rocks, kids. <laughs> yeah. Let's pop a few of those in E-Rocks yeah. now. Yeah. Oh. So, so wait, he, he moved, was he mad when he came in yesterday? I guess. Maybe we'd get Sam or one of the guys that knows. Oh, he must have been livid because yeah. he doesn't like people effing with his stuff. Oh. And, uh, yeah, he's... You know, his stuff is the reason... That there's so many mice in the Just place. to bring everyone up to date, if you weren't listening yesterday, this guy we work with over there because he refuses to leave. He's the last holdout. Everyone else left and and uh, gave us this facility for the Opie and Anthony show. He's a hoarder. Yeah. Just piles and piles of stuff like you see on the news, those people that live among their own filth, and they make tunnels because there's so much stuff in their house. Yep. He's one of those guys with his area. And he turned his little corner of the office into one of those areas. Where it's disgusting. Papers and... Uh, uh, old coffee cups, food, pizza boxes. It's just yeah. disgusting. Piles and piles. And then he chains his chair to a file cabinet because he thinks someone's going to take his dumb chair. He wants to take his stink chair. And then it says mine on the back of his chair. Oh. So what Probably what, smells like one of those friggin' little rascals mm. driven by an old guy with incontinence. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got on him, Sam? Well, Mars tipped me off that he sometimes listens to the show, so I think he didn't flip out and throw things like he has in the past because he might have been no, he might have known that we wanted him to. Yeah. But instead, he spent the whole time going back and forth, rearranging all the things that we had moved and mumbling things. Did he clean up and throw stuff away, perhaps? I think, no, he just moved them to other spots. Yeah, yeah that's moved. great. The mice will be like, hey, they moved it. Let's go away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Quick update from Mars. The other joint has uh, uh, a mouse problem. Got a lot of mice. Yeah. Uh, Mars, what do we got? What's the update? Good morning, muchachos. I'm sorry to inform you nothing. Still we have nothing. nothing. What are we doing wrong? Have you seen any mice this morning? Smart mouse. No, I have not seen any mice this morning. Well, well, let me ask you a question, Mars. They moved my trap, which I didn't care for. Where'd they put it? They put it um, directly underneath the intern area. How about they put it back where it was? Oh, well, that's good. Absolutely. Uh, but I think that you would be better off if we move it over to uh, by where the vacuums are. I'll trust your judgment. Yeah, you can move my trap wherever you want. Yeah, Mars, move the traps around. we got a nice bet going on here. First, uh, first guy to catch a mouse. Okay, no problem. And make sure the, the traps are working. Oh, yeah, I tested them this morning. The batteries are good. LEDs go on and all that good shit. Yeah, we're oh. used... Oh. Ah. Whoa, hey, oh. well, technically, he is over there. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't <laughs> know any better. They're electric traps, and they're they're working fine. All right, Mars, thank you. And uh, mouse traps, still nothing, huh? Wow, that's... Fuck, you'd think there were no mice around here. That's becoming a bust. We know that the place is infested. Mm-hmm. With rodents. I think they got the exterminator coming in tomorrow, too. So, bit, oh, game bit, over. Bit is going to be over tomorrow.